Sometimes I believe it might be wiser if we weren't even associated with England. I agree, they tax us so much. Well, they were only trying to pay off their debt from the past war. We needed protection from those savages. Lee caused it. Oh no, I disagree. Did you see the drawing the Polar Gay distributed? It shows exactly how it happened. It was the English soldiers who shot at our innocent men. These eighth graders from Community Middle School in West Windsor, Plainsboro, were some of the nearly 500 students who competed for a chance to represent New Jersey on the national stage by taking part in the 2012 New Jersey National History Day contest held at William Patterson University. National History Day is actually a way to make history come into the present through kids and it's, it's really interesting because it's not a normal research project that you actually have to hand in and you get graded. It's all about you and what you put into it. And what students put into it is a lot, because despite its name, History Day is actually a year-long education program for students in grades 6 through 12 that focuses on historical research and interpretation. Kids from around the country just, they start doing a history project and it takes about a year and they do their research and then they come up with a thesis and from the thesis they create either an exhibit, documentary, paper, website, or a performance and then they go and compete and at each competition certain groups will be moved on to the next level. So it starts off with a regional tournament and then a state tournament and then finally a national tournament. Each year National History Day promotes a theme and it's up to the students to try to find a, a topic that they love that they can connect to that theme. One of the questions that they're going to be asked in their defense is how does your topic connect to the theme? So we drive that home all year long that as they're doing their research they need to make sure that they can make those strong connections. My exhibit was on Martha Graham's Modern Dance Revolution. Before ballet and classical dance were very popular, so Martha Graham, she created this whole new style of dance, which was stark and dangerous, and was basically a revolt against all the difficulties during that time period. Personal computers were introduced in the 1980s, alongside the release. My documentary was on the digital revolution and how the increase in use of technology such as the internet, computers, cell phones has absolutely revolutionized the way that people do everyday things. Students approach their topics as historians, conducting primary and secondary research that includes taking oral histories, interviewing experts, and visiting historical sites, libraries, archives, and museums. These are truly career-ready skills and, and college preparedness skills, skills of reading, writing, interpreting, analyzing, going deeper, being able to conclude, looking for cause and effect, making sure that you're showing both sides of the story because a good historian has to be balanced. Our economies are connected, we get security, our monetary systems are the same, our cultures are so intertwined and they are the most technologically advanced. Precisely. My name in the play was Sarah and I played the servant to a loyalist um, wealthy woman and her name was Elizabeth. So I kind of followed on her views most of the time but then sometimes during the play I would state what I thought because even though I was a servant I did want to speak my mind. Part of our performance was we wanted to show how the women were speaking out against not against what the men say, but they had their own opinions as well. And then also that the servants had their own opinions away from their owners because obviously they weren't supposed to speak their minds, but they did because they wanted to be heard. This program in particular shows kids that history is a story and it can be anybody's story. It doesn't just have to be the dead white men that you normally associate with history. My topic was China's Cultural Revolution. I portrayed a woman who had lived through the Cultural Revolution and she was talking about her experiences and recounting the emotional trauma that she had gone through because of it. My father lived through the Cultural Revolution so it had um, personal significance and I always like I'd always known that he lived through the Cultural Revolution I just never really understood what it meant. It's that kind of a connection. If you allow a student to make that connection with your family story and fit it into the historical context of the time period, you've just opened up their eyes to you know, how you really interpret a topic. And I think that's one of the strengths of National History Day. With more than half a million students competing each year, National History Day is one of the nation's most successful academic contests. So much so that it recently became the first K-12 education program to receive a National Humanities Medal. Karen Rosnick's students also did well this year, sending students in both the individual and group performance categories to the national finals, with another student being named an alternate in the website category. 
I love doing this. I've been doing it since sixth grade. It's such a great experience and it gives you so many skills in life, like researching and citing our sources and writing the scripts I had no idea how to do it before. So I feel that it benefits my life so much that there's no way I could stop now.